Hello and welcome to a Hammers Chat Talk A Good Game special outside of Upton Park for Mark Noble's testimonial. It's a bit wet and windy, wet, wet and windy here today outside of Upton Park, uh, but myself, Tom, from Hammers Chat, we've got Jason and other Tom with us. Um, if you were tuning in today to see uh, Gio and Gonzo, uh, unfortunately two couldn't make it, so you're going to have to do with the three of us uh, and a feather duster yeah, in the meantime. So yeah, anyway, first question. Tom, I'm going to throw you in at the deep end here. What's the, uh, what's the emotion like coming out of here today? It's emotional, but I've got a few more to go for me personally for uh, for I leave the old girl and we go to new passes and new adventures new next season and everything. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the game there. But yeah, it's, it, every time I come here, you know, it's one one off the list. I've got a list to overtick. It's one more less, and it, yeah, it's, it's sad to see the old girl going to go. But no, today was an emotional day. No, it was fantastic for Noble. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant weather actually, which is just holding off till about now. But no, it's a good day. Yeah. Well, for me, I mean, obviously, this is probably one of my last games because I'll be going back up to uni uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, so for me, you know, to see some of the players today, uh, last time, like De Canio and, and Sinclair and people, is that the same for you? Is it, is it almost sad to see, you know, or, or nice for these guys on their last ever game here? It's, a, the it's pretty, pretty nostalgic at the same time. I mean, we're seeing the current crop and then the, the ones of yesteryear as well. And you can clearly see some of the players have still got it in the locker. I mean, watching Bellamy bombing up and down, as well as Effrington and Harewood. Unlucky for the fella on the day. I think he, was, he deserved a goal, but it was a brilliant occasion and a great send-off. Yeah. Well, quickly before we jump into the questions about the game, there was uh, a lot of talk during the week for Mark Noble uh, and his England career. Um, do you think other comments you know, he said about... I want to still focus on playing for England. Do you think he should just sort of forget England now for the rest of his career and just focus on West Ham going into Olympic Stadium and beyond? Pers if it's me personally, I, I would snub England yeah, and say, well, if I'm not good enough now, why am I going to be good enough in the field? But all, all the time, everyone knows it. I mean, we can bang on about this all night, but all the time that Roy is there, he's never going to get caught up. He's obviously got saying, me personally, I think, it's, I think did Roy not go from at Fulham? And I don't know, maybe it's something to do with that. Maybe Roy's got to be in his bonnet, but it's not just, it's not just Noble. It's every, every West Ham player. Every, every, yeah, so, yeah, for me personally, I would, but no, it's good that he hasn't done it because obviously that's, that's a testament to the man's character, you know. He's, that's, that's, Miss, that's Mark Noble through and through. He said, oh, you know, and good, good, good on him, really. And if he gets again, he'll get a call up, we all support him through it. So when the game started today, it was a great atmosphere. There was a lot of players that uh, had come in that we hadn't seen here for a long time. Um, a bit of a boring first half. There's a few goals that have been let in, you know, especially for Mark Noble's first. You know, there's a couple of easy passes and let-throughs for, for that. Who was your favourite player in that first half? Because obviously there's players that played in the first half that didn't in the mm. second. But who did you enjoy seeing when the game started most? Um, I really liked seeing Yossi Benayoun. He still has a, a it in the locker pretty much. I um, really enjoyed the tricks and flicks that he was going on there. But it was really of a friendly by name and by nature, really. Um, you know, no tough tackling. I don't think we could be due another injury spree. Just get everyone fit, have a little kick about and uh, some brilliant goals as well. Yeah. No, it was uh, a couple of good goals from the West Ham lads in the first half. Made it look a lot, lot easier than it probably was. Um, it was uh, Yossi Benoit looked like he could almost suit up and <laughs> play the last games of the season. He didn't look out of shape at all, out of touch, no, did he? Did he? He looked like the old Yossi Benoit ten years ago. Yeah, ten, fifteen years ago. Yeah, he still looked in good shape. And now Yossi Benoit also. I also think both the Ferdinand boys looked good as well. I mean Collison. I mean I, I wouldn't think Collison had an injury personally, but obviously he has. And. Well, David James, I mean, they say gold is the only thing that does gold is in his age. David James has still got it, you can see that, you know. Uh, but no, yeah, it's it good to see, it's good, it's good first half, good to see them all. Yeah. I think David James, if he, <laughs> a couple of years ago, he's probably playing for a contract if you saw him today, you know, he made some top saves, a few boosts from the crowd, all in jest. Uh, Adrian's second goal, oh, Adrian's goal, bit of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's like purely like a friendly in the greatest sense, just a kick about having a laugh, and you know, you never see a goalie going on a ama amazing run like that. Maybe Adrian's got more than what meets the eye. <laughs> I think he, uh, he probably would have done that this season a little bit sooner if he, if he had another chance. Obviously, he enjoyed his one against Everton in the FA Cup. Second half came on. Um, a couple of great goals from Dean Ashton. I mean, where the hell did he pull that overhead kick out? I don't know. I think if he got that, he was 20 stone. I mean, I mean the guy, I mean, going behind him, I mean, to, to pull that off, I mean, it's unbelievable. And that's what I'm saying. Yet again, like... Sheridan's still got they've still got that touch, haven't they? And they never lose it. And the only thing they get again is injury or it's age that does them in. And I mean that goal by I mean that I mean I don't know if you've seen it, but anyone who's watched it, that goal he scores absolutely top notch. Absolutely top notch. Yeah, I mean for me, I think it was such a waste obviously getting injured for the England, you know, in the England camp and mm. that. How good of a player could Ashton have been? if he'd have not got that injury? I think he'll be asking himself that question every day. I think, you know, we could go on about for days and days, but, you know, it, he's a phenomenal player. We just enjoyed him while we had him, really. Yeah. It's just an unfortunate set of circumstances, but that's football. It could all end at any moment. Yeah. 
Mark Noble's big day. Um, how do you think he was feeling today? Do you think you know the atmosphere and everything? It obviously, welled up at the start of the, of the match. Is that is that what you expected it to be today? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously, Noble, only Noble knows how he's going to feel, but you can you can be pretty sure that he'd be nervous. He'd be nervous, but he'd also be elated now that it's over and it's gone. It's gone. It's been a brilliant day out for the fans. The 35. I mean, it's just a testament to all the fans today. I mean, everyone's come here. There's no tubes. There's no hammers. There's no district line. I mean, I've had to walk. I've had to walk two miles and park in. I'm sure everyone. Everyone else is in the same boat, you know, they haven't drove up, they've got to get the That's just a testament to the guy, you know, they all wanted to show how much they love and appreciate Mark Noble, what I have done, he's been a fantastic servant to the club. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more with that. Um, quickly, we'll just talk about, you know, um, Paolo Di Canio. I'm pretty sure everybody in the stadium was waiting all afternoon for Paolo mm -hmm. to get his goal. He came back on in the second half in a claret and blue instead of uh, the... Um, <laughs> sorry, it's Nick. Nick it's all right. Uh, Nick, 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 he's coming in here. Yeah. Come, <laughs> come over, mate. Go on, we'll ask you to, Nicky. Go on. Oh, no, sorry. No, sorry. No, sorry. No, go on, no, go on, no, go on. Go on. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, so for Paolo Di Canio's goal, everybody all afternoon, they wanted to see it from him. He came back to, in you know second half in the claret and blue. Is that what you came here today to see Paolo to score? or I wanted Ashton to score. That's who I wanted mm. to score. That's who I came here for. He's my hero. Me and him, similar age, similar haircut, similar <laughs> weight. And um, he just pulls it out of the air, doesn't he? But Paolo Di Canio, I mean, he was, he was my hero when I was growing up. I mean, my absolute hero. And um, yes, yeah, it brought a tear to me. I want to see him coming on today. You know what I mean? So it was a bit of a gift from Jimmy Walker. I don't think he's going to score <laughs> any other way. But no, no, no. To see um, Paolo back here is, is, is fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, towards the end of the game, we obviously had the penalty shootout as well. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Towards the end of the game, uh, we obviously had the penalty shootout as well. Um, a few saves, a few that were let in. Was that a good way to end the game with the penalty shootout? Oh, it was just a bit of fun at the end of the day, really, isn't it? I mean, I don't think I even disregarded the score in the end. It was like a cricket score near the end. But um, I fell for Adrian, though. Throwing off those gloves, I thought, is it deja vu all over again, Everton? He goes to disguise it, but just the beauty of it yeah really. still still came in with a celebration yeah. so quickly last last couple of questions you going into the last five games here at Upton Park and the eight games left that we've got you know for the season what's what's the next challenge for us now is it to go for the Champions League or is it to finish sixth and, and for the FA Cup final what, what would your preference be my preference personally would be FA Cup but I can't see no reason why we can't go for the full spot as well but for me personally I've always said long full spots too much this season I'd be happy with sixth get into Europe I'd be happy with that because I think we need it for our squad rotation next season as well that's a massive thing because obviously there's not players at like that not getting a game not, not getting a fair crack of it and that's all because the other guys are doing fantastic um, but yeah for me personally it's FA Cup yeah. I think uh, the same as that Jason is that, is that the same? yeah fairly fairly mutual as well I mean we're coming back with an injury free squad after this international break all I can say is just give 110% of the rest of these games and just see where we end up just enjoy the ride OK, so before we allow Tom to go back on the pub with his, uh, with his dad, we're just going to quickly ask him, who was your player of the match or your man of the match today? It's got to be Dean Ashton for that kick. I mean, that goal is just phenomenal. It's world class. I mean, well, I know he's not. It's just, it's just fantastic. I mean, it's just, you can't. I mean, to do that, I mean, it's just unbelievable. What a goal. Yeah. Same for you, Jason? Absolutely, without a doubt. He uh, played his socks off. I think maybe, you know, without that ankle injury and having it fused and all that, you know, who knows who could have a, how good of a player Dean Ashton uh, could have been. Anyway, that's all that we've got time for here. If you want to uh, head over for the uh, uh, latest West Ham news, head over to clarenthu.info. Uh, alternatively, if you want to speak to your fellow West Ham fans, uh, come visit us at hammerschat.boards.net. I've been Tom, that's been Jason, that's been Tom. We've been Hammers Chat. See you later.